Tiger Gaming FTWB, welcome to Riot! And we have an action-packed lineup of matches here tonight. It is insane how many matches we have, including my personal favorite, our main event here tonight, as D'Angelo, Xavier Grace, and a mystery partner of their choosing is going to take on the Chapel. We also have an action-packed Light up. We're going to hear from D'Angelo in just a few moments here, guys. But most importantly, we're going to be seeing from James Hudson. We've got Eamon Drake making his Riot debut. We got uh, Casey making her Riot debut. We have action packed matches lined up for you here tonight. And it looks like we're not wasting any more of your time here with this introduction. Oh, speak of, ladies and gentlemen, here comes the anti-social face of art, your LWE immortalized rumble winner, son of a bitch, LWE immortalized rumble winner, D'Angelo. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the LWE Immortalized Rumble winner, D'Angelo. The man who outlasted 29 others in the Immortalized Rumble matchup. Throwing over Xavier and Grace in the final two in order to become Immortalized. He will go on to the main event of LWE Wrestle Kingdom 2, where he's either going to challenge for the LWE World Massacre Championship or the LWE World Heavyweight Championship. But for those who didn't see it, we're gonna show you right here what happened at Immortalized. Xavier Grace sends him into the corner, jumps over the top, look at that sunset flip, lifts him in a power bomb, Grace, Grace! D'Angelo over! D'Angelo holds on, goes back to the top rope here. Look out! Spanish fly! Xavier. Xavier's looking to finish things with the Peacemaker. D'Angelo gets up. Peacemaker incoming. Gotta accept it. He was thrown over, both feet landed, and look right there. D'Angelo's gonna go there. Wrestle Kingdom 2 takes place this January. Yeah. 
And the crowd is loud tonight. I think I'm in a dream here. You ain't dreaming, kid. An artist's dream is to make the perfect portrait. For months, I've created, I've painted, I've sketched. And I can never get the work correct. But that's because I've been working alone. When I got the image from the LWE universe, I knew. I knew there was something that awoke in me to keep a fight going. It took a few extra tries, but we did it. At LWE Immortalized, we won the Immortalized Rumble. We are going to the main event of Wrestle Kingdom 2. We did that. And now comes time for me to pick what title is the target. Spot number one holds the LWE World Heavyweight Champion the coolest champ in the room, Mike Mercer. Spot number two holds the LWE World Massacre Champion, the violence chooser, Damon Starr. And I'm not gonna leave you guys waiting. The champion that I will face at Wrestle Kingdom 2 is... Wait a minute. What the hell? Just as we were about to find out who D'Angelo was going to pick at Wrestle Kingdom 2, here comes the new LWE World Heavyweight Champion, the coolest champ in the room again, Mike Mercer. At LWE Immortalized, for those who don't know, Mike Mercer became a two-time LWE World Heavyweight Champion, defeating Devin Isaacs for the LWE World Heavyweight Championship. After Alex Diaz had a little bit of an involvement, took out Devin Isaacs and helped Mike Mercer win the championship, betraying his brother in Devin Isaacs. I can't believe that, but more importantly, ladies and gentlemen, Mike Mercer is here tonight with a statement on his mind. Let's hear from him. D'Angelo. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. It's, it's been a while, hasn't it? It's because last time we met, we were face to face at LWE Heart of Tokyo, where it was almost you walking out with my championship. Unfortunately, it wasn't. It was Devin Isaacs who got the win, not you. But for your first ever world title match, I mean, hey, not a bad attempt, right? Now, if you were smart about this, which clearly you aren't, and, you know, you'd probably pick me. Because you see, I don't give a damn about your dreams, D'Angelo. Do you think I care for Devin's? Hell no. I crushed his dreams in an instant. Fair and square, and at a motorized hell, Devin ain't even here tonight because he's too busy crying about the damage that I caused him so why don't you prove to me and everyone else that we're wrong here don't be a different Isaacs pick me at Wrestle Kingdom 2 instead of that b graded champion Damon Star. look I promise you we'll have a class uh Devin uh I meant Mike. <laughs> Asking you shall receive. <laughs> oh, I don't think our World Massacre champion is going to like the fact that you just called him a B graded champion. Here comes the violence chooser, your LWE World Massacre champion, Damon Starr. The man who defeated the Russian war machine, Casimir Lesnar at LWE Immortalized to retain the championship under last man standing rules 2 
And Damon plans on keeping that streak going. He wants to take the title all the way to Wrestle Kingdom. And that's exactly what's on his mind here tonight, especially coming out here. Maybe he's gonna throw in his hat. Oh my, D'Angelo should pick him. It seems Damon Starr's got the confidence on his face. Check out that drip, by the way. I wonder how much that watch cost him. But Damon, meanwhile, having the championship over his shoulder whoa, proudly. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry. I didn't really catch your bullshit there, Mike. Did you just call me a B-graded champion? Listen, you want to call yourself the coolest guy in the room? That's fine, as long as you know your place. Because world championship or no world championship, everyone here knows that I'm the bridge and you're the water. Because I'm above you. But now that he's dealt with, then there's you. Allow me to formally introduce myself. My name is Damon fucking Starr. The breaker of necks, ender of careers, and the best damn thing LWE has going for it today. But most importantly, I am the reigning LWE World Master Champion. And honestly, I think this comes with a lot of thought. But I'm here to tell you that Mike is kind of right. As much as I hate to say it, he's right. You should pick Mike Mercer to be your opponent because although you're one of the most resilient competitors around here, you don't compare to me. When it comes to me, a lot of people have swung first and that's okay because I swing second and I swing last. And when it's all said and done, I always win. Listen, you did the unthinkable and you won the immortalized rumble. Don't waste that. Use that opportunity you've earned and go after a champion that you have a real chance of beating. Wait a minute! Whoa, whoa! And here comes the man who was part of the final two! Now, it's Xavier Grace coming down to the ring! Well, he ain't either of the world chips in the ring. I don't know why he's got business out here, but we're gonna hear from him, I guess. It seems he's got something to say, too. Coming down to the ring, he's gonna be in the main event teaming up with D'Angelo to take on the chapel. They'll have a partner in their corner. We don't know who that is yet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See that? That right there. You're still running from me. You've been the one that hasn't left me alone since the shit started. You've been afraid to face the problem, Mike. Now, D'Angelo, congratulations on the Rumble win. Sucks that I had to finish, you know, final two twice in a row. But I understand. You had something to prove, and you had everything to lose. And that, that right there is what it takes to lead LWE into the future. That is how you prove that you belong. Not cashing in a briefcase, picking up the scraps of someone who put everything on the line. D'Angelo, you have my respect, and you've had it since the G1, but I promise you, if you get in my way and giving that title fuck what he deserves, then you and I are going to have a problem. Do I make myself clear? Hey, 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 hey. Shut up, Chris. Chris, do you honestly think you're special? Because I don't see it in your eyes, Chris. This isn't Rock versus Austin. This isn't WrestleMania 17, bud. Look, you don't call the shots around here. All because... Peaceful anarchists want revenge on my mercy because he had my friend. No. No, that's not how it works. The truth is, and will always be, that Xavier Chris wants to be world champion again. He desires it. He patrons for it. But let me tell you right now, whether D'Angelo picks me or not, on my terms, you won't be getting me one-on-one -on -one ever again. Now, back to that B-list champion who oh, can't- For fuck's sakes, shut up. D'Angelo wants to paint pictures like he's in the third grade. Mercer wants to come out here and wear deal with it shades like it's 2012. And Chris is out here once again flexing his hate boner for Mike Mercer. When you guys figure this shit out, tell Tiger to come find me. Oh, well, there goes the World Massacre champion. He's heading to the back right now. Everybody stop. What the?
Now hold on a second, Mr. Star. Before you leave, I have some major news to reveal to you. You see, a few months ago, I made a request. A request that our so honorable and useless general manager, Tiger, was required to make no matter what the circumstance, that I would be getting something that I have been desiring. Since I was screwed by the skull-faced freak at Grand Palace 3. And, well, even though I am currently the LWE Intercontinental Champion, I'd love to add a new crown to my shelf. So, I've asked Tiger, and finally, my request was granted. At the LWE Awards Show, you, Mr. Damon Starr, will defend the LWE World Massacre Championship against me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a sec. When the hell did you make the demands around here? The only thing you've done is recite the same thing over and over again for a year. Ooh, I'm the Reaper, and I hunt sins, and LWE needs to be cleansed, and I want every championship in Ooh. Oh, but it is certainly up the right alley, Damon. It's simple business. I even got the confirmation from your boss. Business my ass! You wanna do good business? You don't put those who are watching this on Twitch to sleep by being all spooky on the Titan Tron. But you know what? You know what? I'm done. I'm done talking. I'll be discussing this shit with Tiger. Whoa! The, wait! What the? What the hell? Oh my god! Vandy! That's Jenko! Vandy and Jenko are beating the hell out of D'Angelo! Look! Wait! Wait! Look out! Bicycle knee! There's the savior of LWE! The Chapel are supposed to take on D'Angelo and Xavier Christ later tonight! Oh my god! And they just laid out D'Angelo on the floor! And Christ! Christ is just struggling here! What the hell? What the hell? Whoa, 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 whoa! What are they doing? They're lifting Grace up! What on earth is this? Oh my god! Triple power bomb to Xavier Grace! And the tension is high for our main event, ladies and gentlemen. It's the chapel against Grace D'Angelo and a mystery partner. And the chapel are standing tall after this. They've just beaten down both of their opponents for tonight. Can, D can Xavier Grace and D'Angelo retaliate? We have to get to our first matchup. King Page versus Timothy Smith, now. Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Our first matchup here tonight. And here comes one of the most disliked men around LWE. Although he calls himself now the self-proclaimed hero of LWE. I don't see no damn hero. I see a coward. Here is Timothy Smith. Post LWE immortalized. Oh, scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, making his way down to the ring. He is from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The Iron Dragon and the hero of LWE, Timothy Smith. Timothy Smith, ladies and gentlemen, focused, resilient, has a lot on his mind, especially with James Hudson. His father returning at LWE Immortalized and eliminating him from the Immortalized Rumble. Timothy Smith definitely has a lot to think about. Not just Hudson, by the way, but Crossbones making his official return at the LWE Immortalized Rumble. After Timothy Smith back in September at Survival took him out, put a chair on his skull and broke his neck for a while 
Crossbones made a triumphant return in the Immortalized Rumble and beat the hell out of Smith. So of course Smith definitely has a lot on his mind and I don't think he wants any more stress, but it seems King Page just wants to add to the plate. And the king indeed has come, ladies and gentlemen. And his opponent, he is from the kingdom of God. He is the king, Billy Page. Well, King Page coming down to the ring, ready for a matchup. He also accuses Smith of some crimes. And the biggest one, of course, is the reason why Matt Gray eliminated King Page in the LWE Immortalized Rumble when Smith took out King Page. Then Matt Gray picked up the pieces and eliminated King Page. The problem King Page has with is Timothy Smith. So, can the King of Cock or the King of LWE, if you want to say so, destroy the Iron Dragon, the hero of LWE. Referee, would you kindly ring the bell? And here we go, the match is underway here, ladies and gentlemen. Smith, ooh, Smith and King Page now in a lockup. King Page has a headlock here. Whoa, 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 locks the arm here. Ooh, and he trips him down already, takes him down to the mat. Just like that already, and now taunting on Timothy Smith. Oh, back into another lockup. Sends them into the corner here. The ref. Let him out. Ref wants it out here. And Smith with a cheap shot there. And look at this. He's saying, you shouldn't have messed with me. You got me on a bad day. Back into a lockup here between these two men. Oh, locks the arm. Oh, right to the shoulder of Timothy Smith there. And now just raking at the damn arm. Wait a minute. Locks it here. Got the arm above here in a chicken wing type position here. Oh, oh, a knee to the gut. Wait a minute. King Page rolls through. Got the headlock back on here. Oh, right to the back of the head. And King Page now. And ready. Wait a minute. Bailey being thrown off the ropes. Drop down by Smith. Leapfrog by Smith. Oh, hey. Leg sweep there. And a kick right over the damn head! Oh my god, what a strike! And look at this now, off the ropes, slides underneath, and a hurricane rata connecting with ease there. And Timothy Smith here, a standing moonsault there to King Page. He just sees this as an advantage, as an opportunity to let out a little bit of frustration. And I don't blame Smith. I'd be pissed too. Look out. Oh, the elbow. There's the snap mare. Now goes to the middle rope here. Oh, an elbow right to the back of the head. And Smith taunting up the crowd here. Look at this. Now elbows. King Page on the ropes, wait a minute. Page holds, well, Smith holds too. Page just threw him over. Wait a minute, look at King Page. Oh, Exploder back into the ring. Over the apron there, back into the ring. And King Page waits as Smith starts to get up. Oh, a basement strike there. And now, goes after the leg. Wait a minute, gets sent back by Smith. In the back of the head. There, and look at this. He said, slow it down, kid. Let's take a step back. Oh, punch right to the head. Roll over, has a headlock here. Oh, lets it off. Wait a minute, what's King Page doing? Oh my God, Alabama Slammer. And it's only a one. Back up, ooh, ooh, hit the referee there a little bit with his kick, but it doesn't matter. It's still connected with Smith and the punch to the gut. Now rakes at the nose. Wait a minute, stomp to the back of the neck. And King Page knows exactly what he's doing here. 
Oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. No. Wait. Smith rolls through. Smith rolls through. Has the shoulders down. Refs killing. Oh, only a one count. Wait a minute. King Page comes close. Smith caught him. Look out. Oh, Blue Thunder Bomb. Only a one count again. And Smith can't believe it. Smith now stomps him right there in the elbow to the head. And Timothy Smith taking his time here. Now targeting the arm of King Page. Look out. Slams it down. Now waiting for King Page here. Wait a second. A deadlift. Oh, back suplex. A little bit of dominance on display by Timothy Smith, but King Page still got fight in him as well. Wait a minute. Went big there. Got caught again. Oh, right to the chest. And look at Smith continuing to mock everyone. Close line over the top. And look at this, calls for King Page up. Is he gonna dive? He dives over the top. Beautiful, no touch sent on there. And now just hammers away at the head of King Page. And King Page might be in trouble here, ladies and gentlemen. Wait a minute, range of the announce table there. And smashes his head into it. And throws him back into the ring here. Timothy Smith could be thinking about finishing it off here. Wait a minute, goes on the apron. Tries to go back. Oh! oh my God, just got hot shotted to hell. And we've restarted the count here. King Page now throws him into the barricade. Right back into the ring. And now Timothy Smith could be seeing danger on his mind. King Page now tops him on. Went for the frog splash. And the knees, the damn knees. And Smith with the back elbow there. King Page goes out again. Smith to the top rope. Look out. Smith. Oh, my God. And King Page with the counter. What's he doing? Look out. Oh, drop some face first there. Now sends him into the ring. Yes, he does. Look at this. Kicks right to the head here. King Page isn't done just yet. Wait just a minute. Stomps him over, and he's gonna do the same thing he did on the floor in the ring. Drops him with a DDT there. The cover. One, two. Oh my God! I thought that would have been it. I actually believe for a split second there. It was over. Now picks him up off the mat. Look out! King Page calls this the draw bridge, and it's been let down. Two, no. And King Page didn't finish it, but King Page, he's saying, off with your damn head. Oh, no. Here it comes. Smith caught the leg. Look out. Oh, belly to back face buster. Cover. Two, no, almost got him there. And Smith jumping over head neck breaker there. What's Smith doing now? Ref's telling him to get down. It looks like Smith is going for the Dragon's Peak here. Dragon's Peak! Wait, King Page caught him! Buckle bomb! And King Page now goes into the corner, calls for Smith to get up. King Page needs to rejuvenate his energy here. Clothesline down, and here comes King Page. Right into the corner there, off the ropes. Smith, wait for the punch, overhead. Oh, tosses up there. And King Page now goes for another drawbridge. Smith counters him. And that 
That is all it takes, guys, for Smith to get the advantage, sending King Bay to the corner and hammers at his head. Wait a minute. Off the corner here. Wait. Oh, pendulum over and kick. Wait, Dragon Swift. Oh, flips over. Dragon Sleeper's in. The Dragon Sleeper's in. Is Timothy Smith going to tap out? Is this it? Do you want to submit? Damn it. Oh my god! This only happens on Riot, baby! Oh my god, is Smith gonna tap out? Is Smith gonna tap? King Page has it in good! Stretching out the spinal cord of Smith! Wait a minute! Smith with a snap banner, get out of it! And Smith goes for a strike! King Page counters! King Page now! Kick to the gut! Oh no! Off with your head! Off with your head! Oh, wait a minute. And Smith's letting the pin off. Why is he doing that? Wait a minute. What is this? What the? Nightmare fuel? That's a damn nightmare fuel. Ref, one, two, damn it. Timothy Smith wins here tonight off of Crossbones' finishing maneuver. Act of disrespect. Not just to King Page, but to Crossbones. Giving him a warning. And look at that. Went for the off with your head. Got countered into the Here's Dragon's the Peak. Timothy Smith. Timothy Smith gets to walk out with his arm raised high. We got to get ready for our next matchup here tonight. Congratulations to Timothy Smith on the victory here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, before we get on to our next matchup, I just got some breaking news here. I don't think people are going to believe it, though. At the LWE Awards Show, it is official, our main event William Parker challenges Damon Starr for the LWE World Massacre Championship. Will the Reaper conquer the Violence Chooser? We're going to find out on 12-30-2021. Let's get to the next match. And it's time for some tag team action. Here comes one of the two teams here tonight in this tag matchup. This is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, making their way down to the ring. Accompanied to the ring by Mora. It is the team of Taylor Taylor and Nick Hamlin. OTTV. Well, OTTV have not really a bone to pick with the Fools for Syrup. However, OTTV kind of feels disrespected by the Fools for Syrup. They want to make tag team wrestling great. They want to make it, you know, unique and interesting. And they feel as though the Fools for Syrup are just making it laughable. Making it unfunny. Making it unentertaining. OTTV are here to prove that they are the greatest tag team in all of professional wrestling. And they're accompanied to the ring by Mora. Of course, here tonight, Hemmerling and Taylor. And here comes these two, the full. What? What the? What the hell? No. Oh my God! It's El Chavaro, and he's got the Chavaros. And their opponents are coming to the ring. I El Chavaro. It is the team on the short stack, Tom Fullery, and the flapjack, David Fowler. Fools, fools, 
zero. The Fools for Syrup coming down to the ring. And there's El Jabaro. He's got a box of Jabaros. They make sure you don't job. <laughs> and El Jabaro now swimming in the invisible lake. But which one's Tom Fuller and which one's David Fowler? I, I, I can't tell you. I don't know. Wait, I, I think I figured it out. Of course it is. Tom Fuller, the one playing the trombone. David Fowler, the one throwing the pancakes. And the legend himself, the LWE Hall of Famer, former world champion El Jabro in the middle there. Well, here we go, Taylor Taylor. This is exactly what Taylor Taylor is talking about, apparently. And he says he's gonna knock some sense into the fools for syrup with Nick Hammerling. Here we go, a lockup. And Fullery here with a headlock. But, oh, a little bit too lightweight, ain't it? Ooh, a leapfrog. Leapfrog again, and Taylor pop up punch there. And look at this, torn on the fans. That's why he's Hollywood's greatest actor. And just strikes away at the face of Tom Fullery. Taunts him on. Says, what are you going to do about it? Fullery again with a headlock here. Wait a minute. Fullery locks the arm. And Taylor rolls around and locks the hammer lock. Oh, right to the back of the head there. And look at this. Tom Fullery now takes down the arm. Got him in a Fujiwara. Oh. Squeezes away at the arm. And chops at Fullery there. Send him into the corner. Punch to the cut. Knee. Again with a knee. Again. And just screaming at him. Right in the face. And now goes to the middle rope. Look out. Splat. Oh my god. You might have killed him. And the cover. One. Oh, wait a minute. Taylor said, no, 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 no. I don't think I'm done with him just yet. Mr. Hollywood, Hollywood's best actor, starring in great movies. Here, wait a minute, look at this. The water wheel neck breaker. Is that gonna do it? And OTTV, almost not even getting a one count actually, until Fowler broke it up. And look at that, Taylor just sits him down. And just counting at him, and look at this. Torn on the fit. Wait a minute. Oh! 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 Bionic elbow combination from Tom Fullery. And Fullery, leg drop to the arm. Oh, wait a minute here. Oh, what? Oh, my God. What a hurricane runner there. And now just goes at the face of Tom Fullery. And look at this. A punch right to the gut. Wait a minute. Oh! Forearm to the head and a diving clothesline there. Right down. Oh! oh. We thought Fullery could be seeing the lights early here. Hemmerling strike it away here. And strikes him over and over right into his corner. I don't know if that's a smart idea. I think he wants to just beat the hell out of Fullery. Oh, wait a minute. Now sends him away. Fowler decided to go against making the tag. Taylor makes the tag now. Taylor dives over. Back elbow here. Oh, moonsault. Fist drop combo. And Taylor stops away here. Wait a minute. Picks Fullery up. Oh, could be thinking about finishing it here. Oh, wait a minute. Fullery counters the prelude. And look at this. Fowler's in. Here comes David Fowler. Runs off. Now grabs the feet of Taylor. Taylor. Wow! The strength of David Fowler. Right onto the knee there. 
And look out, Hemmerling goes down. Hemmerling going down there. Scorpion death drop. And look at Fowler. Oh, tries to take it to the top. Taylor gets kicked in the mouth though. Kicked at the knee. Wait a minute. La Majestica. One, two, no. No, wait a minute. Kick to the gut. Off the rope. Wait. Oh! <laughs> that was good. Wait a minute. Goes off the ropes. Oh, my God. And now picks Taylor up. Could be looking to finish things with Fuller here. And Taylor counter. And Taylor sends him over. Look out. And a knee right down. And Fuller it goes to the outside. And El Jabaro can't believe it here. And Taylor just taunting on with El Jabaro. Wait a minute. Mora seems to have a little bit of a problem with El Jabaro. El Jabaro said bring it. He helped discriminate. He said wait what? Oh, oh, Mora's going after him! Look out! Wait! El Jabara avoids the attack! Wait a minute! Hammerling tries to use the distraction! Oh! Goes face face down! And El Jabara dancing about it! And Taylor feels disrespected! Wait a minute! Here comes David Fowler! But why did Fowler, the legal man, put the mask on here? I wonder what... That's all about here. Wait, wait a minute, the surprise! The wait a minute, there's a dude of Fowler! He had a turn! Falls for syrup, did it! Falls for syrup! Outsmarted OTTV! Wow! Oh my god! What a clever tactic by the Falls for syrup! David Fowler was the legal man! I was convinced, guys. I, I, I really was convinced there that that was David Fowler. Fowler went over the top here. Look at this. The legal man and Fuller went to the outside. Looked like Mora wanted to fight El Jabro. El Jabro said, let's go. Let's get it. And Mora went after him, went for the neck breaker here, and he just shoved Mora off. And look at this, Nick Hemmerling tried to dive on El Jabaro, but El Jabaro just too quick to get out of the way. There. And look at this, what we thought was David Fowler, we couldn't tell because of the mask. The damn mask. And we couldn't tell until this right here, Tom Fullery special, the surprise, out of nowhere, and it got him the one, two, three. Pinning Taylor Taylor here tonight. The Fools for Syrup walk out with their hand held on. Here. Oh, guys. Here are your winners. The Fools for Syrup. Guys, do it with me now. Oh, Ole. Oh, give me some Ole's in the chat. <laughs> Suck it, kiss my booty from El Jabaro. <laughs> We gotta get ready to move on here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, with more action coming your way. Indeed, coming up next, we have a... Wait, wait a minute. We're gonna hear from him right now? Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, James Hudson is ready. And he's coming to the ring right as we speak. James Hudson's here! Whoa! Oh my! I thought this would happen later, I'm not gonna lie to you! But it's happening now! Check this out! It's the world leader, James Hudson! And Hudson's not playing any games. He's going to get straight to the point. Welcome back, you son of a bitch. For those who don't know who James Hudson is, he is the LWE world leader. He is a man who once ran LWE. 
and put the name corruption into it. If you want to talk about a corrupt guy who owned the company, this is him right here. Finding every way to murder near the end of his spree, he destroyed his opponents, and it took Timothy Smith at Wrestle Kingdom to make him quit and leave for a little while on a private resort that Hudson owns, known as an island of Tahiti. Of course, Hudson's uh, back from vacation, it seems. Of course, he returned at the LWE Immortalized Rumble matchup. He, he did pretty well for himself. He got about six eliminations, including one being from the Wolf King Stigma. Oh, i bad. Here we go. <laughs> now, before I get into anything else, I'd just like to clarify a few important notes. That being first things first, no, I don't have any ownership powers or any business involvements with LWE. My time as owner came and went. I have no desire for that position again. However, I am still your world leader. I am still your ruler of all things. I may not have the control anymore, but I damn sure just want everyone to know that it's not too difficult to get it all back. Hey, hey, I was just joking. Obviously. On a serious note, I'd like to address the situation. Why did I come back? Why didn't I just stay retired on my own private island of Tahiti? Well, you see, for the last 11 to 12 months, I've been relaxing, clearing any injuries, dealing with paperwork, all of the above. <laughs> Hell, apparently I even have a son that isn't Timothy Smith. I don't remember that. But moving past that, I came back because my break was over. There's a lot of unfinished business I have to take care of around here. I was never leaving forever and was bound to come back once I was satisfied enough and found the right opportunity. I could have waited longer or could have came back quicker. I should point out that I took a vacation from my vacation and was at Grand Palace 3. If I wanted to, I could have came out and won the King of the Palace. I was also at LWE Legendary. If I wanted to, I could have been the one to take Crazy's dream away. But in actuality, I had no reason for that. Instead, I did something bigger and better. I single-handedly eliminated a veteran of professional wrestling, your Wolf King Stigma. On my own, no help. In the process, I even got rid of Brad Epic. Of course, that technically means I'm the Wolf Hunter, because I beheaded the king, thus making me better than that washed up news of yesterday. Now that Sigma is long gone, my focus pans to you. Not you, William Parker. No, no, that's not what pride would do. Mike Mercer, you see, I knew your father extremely well. I knew him in and out of the ring, even more so how corrupt he was. But you, <laughs> oh Mike, you're the spitting image of him. And deny it all you want, but deep down you know I'm right. My issue with you is the fact that you now hold the LWE World Heavyweight Championship, and I want it. I never got my fair one-on-one -on -one rematch for the LWE World Heavyweight Championship. So the date is set at LWE Wrestle Kingdom 2. It will be James Hudson versus Mike Murphy. Wait a minute. Oh, before you can say anything else, Hudson, it's the Drip King of LWE. Here comes the owner, Tiger Gaming. He's got some words to say for Hudson. Well, he stopped him in his tracks for a reason. Let's hear what he's got to say. Hudson, welcome back, my friend. We all missed you from every part of the globe and back. 
Now, I hear your argument. You are owed an LWE World Heavyweight Championship match, but I won't be giving it to you at WrestleMania. You either give it to me then, or you give it to me tonight. I'm afraid I can't do that. You see, while D'Angelo is still deciding his rightful opponent, I need to know who's going to face the champion that he won't pick at LWE Wrestling Kingdom. So here's what will happen. On Thursday, December 30th, LWE presents the second annual award show. And on that show, multiple sides of steel will surround six men. With the chance of facing the champion D'Angelo, doesn't pick at LWE Wrestle Kingdom. That's right, this match is a Walls of War match. And the six competitors I've chosen for that match are you, DTS, Crossbones, Xavier Crazy, a man who won earlier tonight in Timothy Smith, and the winner of this matchup confirmed right now of Jimmy Kane versus Christian Shelley. <sighs> I hate playing this game with you. There's a reason why people call you corrupt, you know? But, it's alright. It's fine. When I win the LWE Rolls War, I don't care if it's Mike, Damon, or anyone else. I will win the LWE World Heavyweight Championship again. Oh, Hudson's made a threat! He's coming for his world title! James Hudson wants his rematch, and he's got a chance at the Walls of War, but Shelly and Kane, that's next. Let's get to that matchup. Well, here we go, folks. A big announcement there that the LWE Walls of War is back and six competitors are going to fight with a chance to battle for the LWE World Heavyweight Championship or LWE World Massacre Championship at Wrestle Kingdom 2. It depends on whoever D'Angelo picks. Whoever he picks, the other champion will fight the winner of that chamber. of War qualifying match. Scheduled for one fall. It's first making his way through the stand. He is from Hartford, Connecticut. The Punk Kid, Jimmy Kane. Jimmy Kane, this kid here, still young and fresh in his career, has a chance to be LWE World Massacre or LWE World Heavyweight Champion. And the first step starts here if he could win this matchup. Because if he does win this matchup, He's going to the award show. And if he wins that chamber at the award show, well, guess what? Jimmy Kane's got that chance. Can he take the opportunity granted to him? This one and only opportunity from Tiger. Here comes his opponent here tonight. His name is Christian Shelley, the former LWE United States Champion. Only around the age of 20, guys. And his opponent from Camden, New Jersey. He is the 20-something year old emo, Christian Shelley. The 20-something year old Emo Christian Shelley definitely fired up here to go up against Jimmy Kane. Shelley and Kane, two young athletes getting ready to tear the damn house down. This is gonna be good as Shelley takes his time coming down to the ring. And Christian Shelley, I'll tell you, he hasn't had the best of luck. As Alayi made his return at the LWE Immortalized Rumble matchup. And guess what? He did the unthinkable. He eliminated Drake Hendrickson from the Immortalized Rumble. Somehow, in some way, before getting powerbombed by Jimmy Darl right out of the ring. 
And Christian Shelley's looking for a new, fresh start here. He wants to make a name for himself, and what better way to do that than possibly winning this matchup? Both men here tonight in this matchup have a chance to benefit in their career. Only one of them's getting the opportunity, though. Who's going to join the list, <laughs> the Walls of War match? Here we go. Referee, would you kindly ring the bell? And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Jimmy Kane against Christian Shelley with for a grapple. And Shelley counters. And Jimmy Kane counters as well. Right into a lockup between these two men. Right into the corner there. Wow. A little bit of technical offense between these two. Ooh, lets it off. Now back into another lockup here. Christian Shelley goes after the arm. And Jimmy Kane now counters. Locks him in a chicken wing up above. And oh, a hammerlock position here. Wait a minute, Jimmy Kane now takes him down into the Fujiwara. And Christian Shelley's looking to get out of it. Yes, he does. Somehow. Look at this, calls him on, but for a crossbody, no one home. Christian Shelley off the ropes here. Christian Shelley, oh, wait a minute! And Jimmy Kane with the Japanese arm drag. But for a close line, got hangmaned off the ropes there. Christian Shelley now goes to the top rope. Christian Shelley with for a crossbody. Jimmy Kane doing some sort of roll to get out of the way there. And now Jimmy Kane has Christian Shelley right where he wants him. Monkey flip. And look at Jimmy Kane here. Wait a minute. Christian Shelley with the counter. Christian Shelley stomps on the arm here. Oh, the strength of Shelley to gut red soup blacks. Down goes Kane. And Kane's back on his feet. Christian Shelley with a drop kick to the face there. A pop up drop kick almost of some sort. Meanwhile, here comes Christian Shelley. Went for the legs, and it looks like, looks like Jimmy Kane caught him there. Goes after the arm here. Elbow right to the arm. Look at this, went for a grapple. Went for some sort of DDT there. Got countered. Oh, Russian leg sweep. And Christian Shelley here. Wait a minute. Whoa! Stretching his bones out there. Oh my God. Just ripping away at the bones. Wait a minute. Snap mares him forward there. Back on his feet. Punches him under the ropes here. Wait a minute. Christian Shelley throws him over. Christian Shelley off the ropes. Christian Shelley went big. Jimmy Kane counters. Jimmy Kane now goes to the top. Christian Shelley runs up. Belly to belly off the top. And Shelly, ah, body splash! And look at Shelly here. Now takes control. Wait a minute! The Q switch! Q switch! Is it gonna do it? Rip one, two! Jimmy Key got the shoulder up right at three! Oh my god! And Shelly just dropped the referee! What is it, an LWE riot show without a ref bump, damn it. Fuck that ref. Oh, wait a minute. A deadlift back suplex there. Shelly performing all the obstacles here against Jimmy Kane. Hypes up the crowd. Look out. Oh, adios, baby. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Shelly off the ropes. And look at Shelly. Shelly's calling for Kane up. Ref's got a one count. What the hell? Oh my God! And Jimmy Kane sends him into the ring. Jimmy Kane now. Jimmy Kane now. Awaiting here. Whoa! <laughs> Springboard blockbuster. And Jimmy Kane's feeling it. Jimmy Cage feeling it. Here comes Jimmy Cage with a shoulder tackle. Another shoulder tackle there. Whoa! 
Christian Shelley trying to get rid of Jimmy Kane. Jimmy Kane's on the top rope now. Jimmy Kane with an axe at all. And Jimmy Kane now, wait just a minute. Oh. <laughs> Is it time? He's calling for it. Stir up the pot, guys. Brain stew. Fine buster by Shelley. Shelley took Kane down. Now going for the springboard. 450, no one home. But it looks like he's still recapitalized on it. And both men have got to be tired at this point. But Jimmy Cade, oh! Jimmy Cade with a kick to the gut. And Christian Shelley with a kick to the gut. Went for an elbow. Super kick to the gut by Jimmy Cade. Jimmy Cade went for a kick. Elbow to the knee there. And look at Christian Shelley. Went for an elbow. Got blocked there. Look at this. Kick right to the chest. Oh, elbow to the face. Kick right to the chest again. Kick right to the chest. Knocked him into the corner here. Wait just a minute. Whoa. Ski wow. Oh. Missed out of the way. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Got him in a schoolboy roll up here. Schoolboy roll up. Schoolboy roll up. Oh. Thought he had it there. Got countered. Jimmy K with the counter. Jimmy K now takes him down. Oh, my God. And Jimmy Kane, Jimmy Kane could be thinking about the lights out here. Lights out time. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. He wants to drop him first. Oh. <laughs> now just patiently waiting, trying to decide what to do. It looks like he wants to go for a brain stew this time. Doesn't want to miss it this time, does he? Oh, whoa, look out! Brain Stew! Is that it? It's Kane going to the award show! No! A kick out at two! Jimmy Kane had to think for a second there. I think he should have just gone for the lights out when he had the chance. I don't know if Shelly's going to give that opportunity away again. Gets back on his feet. Could be thinking about the lights out. Didn't go for it. Couldn't get it at all. And look at this. Mock it up. Here. Whoa. Counter. Close line. Here comes Christian Shelley now. Christian Shelley. Fighting back. Drop kick to the chest. Shelley's not done. Shelley's not dead. Christian Shelley kicks away at the knee. Kicks him right in the face there. And now Christian Shelley put up a little bit of a too sweet for Jimmy Kane. Wait a minute, kill switch time. Could it be time? Kill switch incoming. Kicks the back of the leg. Wait a minute. Line two. Line two. Line two. Jimmy Kane. Jimmy Kane. Jimmy Kane is going to be a one shot. Jimmy Kane has a chance! Oh my god! Jimmy Kane joins the list at the award show! What a match! What a fight between these two! Only one of them could get it! And it turned out to be Jimmy Kane! Winning with the lights out. Congratulations to Jimmy Kane. He's going on to the award show. Could he challenge for the World Massacre World Heavyweight title if he wins that Walls of War matchup? Imagine, imagine, guys. Jimmy Kane right in his prime winning a world title here at LWE. He only just got here from the Rising Star Tournament. And he's already having a blast as he's walking through the crowd to celebrate with the fans a little more. And it looks like Shelly needs to... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, 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 sir, please. Sir, please. No, 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 no. There's no need. There's no need, guys. 
The LWE Global Champion, Drake Hendrickson is here. And he's got Jason Vortex right behind him. What the hell is this about? Why the hell is Vortex and Drake out here? Yeah. <laughs> and there's a big grin on Vortex's face. And an unhappy look from Drake. He is pissed. The ultimate being is not in a good mood. He's entering the ring here. Wait, oh my God! Just killed the referee! Oh no, and the elevated triangle choked a Shelly now! This is for Immortalized, isn't it? This is all about Shelly eliminating Drake in the Immortalized Rumble. And look at this. Put Christian Shelley straight to bed. Night, night, down. Congrats to Jimmy Kane, but Christian Shelley, your night just got worse. Your night definitely just got worse thanks to Drake. We got to move on here, ladies and gentlemen. Damn the ultimate being for what he's done get on the next match. It's time for more action here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And here's a big, big matchup. The debut of one, Eamon Drake, baby. Oh, I'm looking forward to this one. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, making his way down to the ring. He is from Stockholm, Sweden. The Falcon. Eamon Drake. Eamon Drake, ladies and gentlemen. Ready for action against the Playboy Player. Well, we said this is going to be an action-packed night indeed. We have more matches coming your way after JC versus Eamon, by the way. We've got the Charm City Kings versus the Sky High Magicians in Big Money Malik's ultimate opportunity, as he calls it. We have the debut of Casey against ATS. We've got Cedric Young versus Crossbones. We have... Tiger wanting to confront Kota Imura, and we have our main event. Eamon Drake, baby! <laughs> and if you like what you see, I sure as hell do like what I see. Make sure to la 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 lumba. Check that follow button. And here comes the Playboy. J.C. Martinez. The man on the cover of Playboy. The ladies man of professional wrestling. San Juan, Puerto Rico. The Playboy J.C. Martinez. Well, J.C. Martinez recently got out of a tag team with Cedric Young. as it had a lot of uh, great starts to his singles career here in LWE. Uh, but regardless, J.C. Martinez now has a major opportunity ahead of him here tonight as he takes on Eamon Drake. Can he upset the debuting Eamon Drake? We'll have to wait and see. Hopefully, JC can turn his ship back around. We're ready to go. We all are. Let's go. Let's go. Get the referee. We're ready. And JC's even ready. Eamon's ready. Oh, I'm looking forward to this one. Eamon Drake. JC Martinez, referee, would you kindly ring the bell? And the match is underway. Here we go. And a lockup between these two men. Eamon Drake, oh, being shoved into the corner by JC. 
And the referee now let him out. Just lets him out of the corner here. And look at this, says bring it on to Eamon. Back into another lockup between these two men. Eamon Drake and JC here. Ooh, JC's got a headlock on Eamon. Takes him down. Keeps the hold in. Eamon now. A little bit of a head scissor here from the legs. And he just chokes the life out of him. And says bring it on to JC. Now into another lockup between these two men. Here, Eamon now targeting the arm. Hits the shoulder there. And continues his twist at the arm. Twists even more. Oh, flips around back. Oh, yanks on the arm here. Oh, right to the back, right to the spinal area. Oh, and throws him off here. Punches him in the back. Look out, bump handle back suplex there from Eamon Drake, baby. And Eamon Drake now sends him into the corner. Whoa, oh, 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 oh my God, a kick combination. Sits him right down, drop kick right to the face. And look at him, torn up the fans. Yeah, take it all in. Now waiting for him, gets him back on his feet. Throws him off the ropes, dropped down by Eamon. Leapfrog by Eamon, Eamon went big. JC counters, JC to the back of the leg of Eamon. And look out Eamon, oh my God, a gourd buster. And look at this, now picks him up. Oh, sits him down with the drift away. Two, oh, I had beliefs there, that was it. And look at this, a headlock. He said, slow it down, kid. He's taking a step back. It seems JC here keeps the headlock. Hey, wait a minute, Eamon Drake's not going to let him keep it in for too long. You got your breather, kid. Now capitalize on it. Drop kick counter. Lifts him into a power slam, slams him down. Now lifts him up off the mat here. And rakes the eyes. Smart. Oh, ho, ho. beautiful zigzag there. Ooh, only a one count. Now wait a minute. Oh, went for a, a slap there. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy shit! What a drop. Oh my God. Ah. And look at this, Eamon, are you much of a flyer, my friend? Well, we're going to have to wait and see. Whoa! Ah! Cross body to the outside, and Eamon Drake's feeling it. Sends him into the table. Now Eamon Drake here smashes his head into the table and sends him back into the ring. Eamon Drake's fired up. Eamon Drake's feeling himself here. Tells JC to get on his feet. Now goes to the top rope. Oh, went for a diamond clothesline. Oh my God. Crash face first. Scorpion death drop. Scorpion death drop. And look at this. Holds up the X. Said X won't give it to you. Wait a minute. Don't sue me. Oh my God. Slingshot spear. Into the cover. One, two. Nah. Not enough just yet. And the knee down there, and look at this. A straight jacket hold in the seated position. Eamon Drake is just ripping away here at JC. Just breaking his back now. Oh! Going after the spine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. JC's getting back on his feet. Look out! And he flips him forward. Nice counter there. JC runs in and knees him right in the gut. Now has him in a seated position, but he lays back down. JC targets the leg. Nice targeting by JC Martinez. Good perseverance. Oh, could have gone bigger there, but he got taken advantage of. Wait, oh my God, right on his head. And it's not enough. Oh my 
God, JC counters. JC, schoolboy roll up. A one, a two. No. Eamon got the shoulder up. And JC fainted to a shoulder. That's going to cost him. Oh, no. JC's busted. JC was busted open. I see a little bit of blood. Looks like Eamon Drake's going to try and finish him off here. Eamon Drake's ready in him. Oh, no. Got taken advantage of there. And Drake to the knee. Right down. Twist the ankle. Uh, oh, my God. And now climbing to the top here. Top rope time. Oh, the one night stand. Two. Oh, not enough. It might be time. Hey, LWE will cover the cost. It's time for some plastic surgery. No, aim and counter. And oh, my God, got him there. Is that going to do it? The cover, one, two, but I think the referee, oh, but he kicked out anyway. I don't think the referee saw it there. However, uh, it seemed JC had his arm underneath the bottom rope. And look at this. Calls for a bump, went for the knee, got countered there. JC went for a chop, elbows are right under the ropes. Oh my God. JC sends him to the outside. What the hell are you doing, JC? What the hell is he doing? What the hell? No, no. Oh my god! Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy shit! Eamon's dead! Eamon's dead and JC standing! This is gonna be an upset! Sends him into the ring! JC to the top! Calls for a bop! Ah! Oh no! Went for a diamond drop kick! Didn't get any of it! Takes the knee, slams the knee down! And look at this! Calls for a bop here! What's he thinking about? Oh my god! Right to the chest! Oh! That'll knock the wind out of you. And Amen now sends JC into the corner here. Wait just a minute. Amen Drake. Tornado suplex. Going now. Straight to the top rope. Look out. Double foot stop. No one home. JC. Oh my God. Twisted it back. Now to the middle rope, shooting star. He went face first into the knees. Amen now, Amen now. Drops him on his neck again. And Amen now drags him to the middle of the ring. Wait a minute, oh, oh my God. The TCS special's in, TCS special. It's in, it's in good. And there's the tap out. Eamon Drake keeps his streak here. Well, he's, he starts his streak more or less. He wins the matchup, wins his debut here in LWE off the TCS special here, that cross arm breaker. And JC had nowhere to go off that arm bar. JC had no choice but to tap out. And Eamon Drake must feel very proud about that. I'd be happy. Here's your winner, Drake. Congratulations on your victory, on your debut victory, Eamon. What's next for you? We're gonna find out. Once more, we gotta move on here tonight. What a win. It's time for the Big Money Ultimate Opportunity, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're hopping right into 
the big money ultimate opportunity. We still got a fair few amount of matches left. But this one right here is going to be very interesting. Here comes big money Malik. And joining his side, the reigning LWE World Tag Team Champions. Now I'm going to explain the stipulation in just a sec, ladies and gentlemen. But let's get to the announcing first from our announcer. This is the debut of the Big Money Ultimate Opportunity. Introducing first, accompanied to the ring by Big Money Malik. They are your LWE World Tag Team Champions, the team of Brandon Ace and Michael Carter, the Chalk City King. Now, while you guys might believe this challenge is for the LWE World Tag Team Championships, it is not. However, Big Money Malik explained it to me personally. It is for $100,000. Imagine what you could do with that money. Am I right? However, you have to beat the Charm City Kings in a chosen stipulation by Malik. This first one, it's a one-sided hardcore match. That's right. That means that Xander Smooth Adams and Keith Anderson cannot use any weapons, but the Charm City Kings has free will to use weapons and will not get disqualified for it. Of course, not for the LWE World Tag Team Championship, but here comes a team we all know and love. And their opponents, it is the team of Keith Anderson and Sanders Smooth Adam, the Sky High Magician. Well, I love the Sky High Magicians. I don't know about you guys, but Xander Smooth Adams and Keith Anderson Ready to show y'all some magic here at LWE. This is gonna definitely be a trick you'll not want to miss. Oh, <laughs> Brandon Ace starting things off with Keith Anderson. And the bell has officially rung and there's the bicycle knee. Now slides out of the ring. Oh, we said this was legal. Look out. Slides hammer to Keith. Oh, remember, the Chomp City Kings can use weapons, but neither Keith Anderson nor Xander Smooth Adams are allowed to use weapons in this match. That is Big Money Malik's rules. If the Chomp City Kings do lose this matchup, though, then Big Money Malik has to hand the Sky Eye Magicians $100,000. And look at this, look at this, a little bit of a tequila. Oh, oh, right to the leg. Nice dive to the leg. Nice. Oh, <laughs> look out, monkey flip by Xander Adams. And a jawbreaker there. Look out, schoolboy, kip up. Oh, and Zaguri right to the mouth. And it looks like Brandon Ace has control over Xander Smooth. Sends him off the ropes. Look out. Snap German suplex there. Beautiful snap German. Now picks him back up. Sends him into the corner where Michael Carter relies here. Wait a minute. Off the ropes. Double back elbow. Oh, no. A senton leg drop. <laughs> you weren't getting the better of that anyways. Wait a minute, Michael Carter. Michael Carter's tearing our damn announce table apart. We need that, guys. I don't wanna have to repair it. Wait a minute, ah, Adams! Oh my God, he took the big man down. Oh, oh, uh, no, not, not for long, not for long. Schoolboy, oh my God. There are no count outs in this matchup. That does go for both men, by the way. It's just the no disqualification rule. Of course, look at this. Oh, it's of course because it's a hardcore matchup. Wait a minute. Oh my God. Oh my God. Keith just got power slammed right on top of Zanna Smooth Adams. 
Oh my lord! He is stacking them! And look at this! Lifts them up! Torture! That is a torture rack toss! And now sends them into the corner towards Brandon Ace. Makes a tag in. Here comes the partnership. Back suplex. And this is why the Charm City Kings are one of the most resilient tag teams in all of LWE. That's why they're your current rating tag chips. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. There's no need for this. There's no need. Sledgehammer right to Xander Smooth. And look at this. Look at this. It's over at that point. Xander's out. Look at that. Trips him down. And right into the cover. No! He actually kicked out at one. And I, I don't think Brandon Ace can even believe that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Ow! Uh-oh. No! Ow! Oh, come on! Stop it! Oh my god, to the spine! Oh no, 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 no. This isn't necessary. No! Brandon! Oh! He hit the chair! Ace hit the chair! Adams is fired up! Oh, but Ace able to fire back. He's still a little dazed. I don't think he realizes now. Adams! Adams has the heart, has the resilience here for the Sky Eye Magician. Trips him down. $100,000 are on the line. What are you going to do with $100,000? Oh my God. Into the corner. Makes a tag. Oh my God. Oh my God. Guys. Guys. The C O L Cloak of Limitation. Come on. One, two, three, but have new $100,000 holders. Oh no, knees fucked up. Oh my God. We should have new $100,000 holders. Malik, pay your ass up. Pay your ass up. This isn't fair, damn it. Look out, double punch. Double axe handle. Oh my God. Oh my God. And look at this. Just taking Keith right out of the ring. Oh no. Oh, Adams. Poor Adams. Oh no, please. Please. It's not necessary. It really isn't necessary, man. Oh. Oh my god. And look at this. Just staring right at him. Uppercutting him. Punching him right in the face. What are you doing? What are you doing, Carter? No, 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 please, 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 please. Don't do this. Oh my god. No, you're gonna kill him! Oh my god! He's dead. He's dead. Nah, he's dead. He. And look at this. Lift Xander smooth off the mat. Oh my god. Slams his head down. Keith can't even, like, believe it here. I don't even think he knows where he is. Thrown into the Charm City Kings corner here. Oh, no. They're going to do more damage. Adams has to watch. Oh, my God. Right to the knee, damn it. And look at this. Could be thinking about the Charm City cutter. Oh, no, no, no. He stopped himself, and he hits a bicycle knee. And that's why. So he can go after Adams, who didn't see it coming there. And look at this. It was just insult to injury with that stomp. Just a little extra motivation. Job City Carter down. Carter has the pin on Keith. The cover. The one. The two. Job City Kings. Keep the hundred thousand dollars big money Malik definitely keeping the price on it 
What a win for the Charm City Kings. It definitely got brutal. Look at that, the COL. They had the match won right here. Unfortunately, the ref was distracted by Michael Carter. Look at Carter here, just killing, killing poor Keith. What did Keith do? Oh, look at that, the Charm City Cutter into the cover and they can celebrate. Look at this, Adams, Adams checking on his, his partner here. Keith, wait, look out, look out Adams! Oh my God! No, no, oh, oh! Oh my god! You menaces! Stop! Stop it, you damn menaces! The damn Charm City Kings getting their point across here. Wait, wait a minute! Oh my god! Oh my god, wait a minute! It's the Title Town Titans! What the hell are they doing? They've had enough of the Charm City Kings tactics! They've had enough of it! Sam King and JJ Strife have sat on the sidelines for too long! Get rid of Brandon Ace and Michael Carter and Malik are getting the hell out of here! The Title Town Titans have the Tag Champs retreating! We gotta get ready for our next matchup! Holy hell though! The Title Town Titans want a little bit of the Charm City Kings! Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna be witnessing some LWE women's action here tonight. Making her debut here, a military vet. Coming down to the ring. An Arsenal style like no other. It's Casey making her debut here tonight and look at this saluting the crowd firing them up they're excited to see what she could do women's action scheduled for one fall introducing her coming down to the ring she is making her debut here tonight from st louis missouri the army barbie casey the Army Barbie, ladies and gentlemen, ready to go here tonight against a veteran in the ring, a three-time LWE Women's Champion, ATS. Imagine the upset if Casey could get a win over her. Of course, no longer having any members or inclusion of NYQ in her corners. New Year Queens seems pretty much dead except for ATS. However, ATS is still gonna keep it going. Without them, there she is. ATS and her opponent from Queen City. ATS! Alexia the Saint, ready for this matchup against Casey. Let's see if ATS can prove she hasn't lost a step in the ring. Well, she hasn't competed in a minute. Casey's been training hard, so I don't really know who would be at the disadvantage here. I guess, uh, does experience beat, you know? Does experience beat talent? That's a, that's a good question. We're gonna have to wait and see here. ATS. Oh, uh, here we go. Army Barbie. Queen. Would you kindly ring the bell? And the bell is rung. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Casey at ATS. Going at it. A lock up here between Casey and ATS. And ATS now. Locks the arm. Whoa! Twisting at the arm. Wait a minute, Casey here. Whoa! Locks the chicken wing above and just snatches at the arm and knees her in the gut. There. Wait a minute. Casey trips her down. 
Oh, look at this. Another lockup between these two ATS shoving Casey into that corner here. Seems demands meet. Separation. Oh, ATS with a cheap strike there. And KC and ATS back into another lockup. Targets the arm here. Doesn't seem like ATS wants to play any more games with KC. Oh, attacks the arm. There with a shoulder tackle. It just twists at it. Takes her down. Locks the arm here. KC here might be in trouble. Wait a minute. Locks her down into the Fujiwara. Locks the Fujiwara. Knees right down to ATS. And KC here. Wait in a minute, whoa, locks the arm behind ATS, puts her foot in, oh, snapping the arm out of its socket. And look at this, playing a little bit of mockery, boom, 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 oh, rule one, don't taunt, oh, counter there, and Casey, oh, with a Pele kick. Stomps on her head there. Hey, Casey now picks her up by the hair. Bing! Down. Look out. Vertical leap sent on there. Able to have control over ATS for the time being. How long is it going to last? Kicks her down. Kicks her right across the face. The Army Barbie has impressed me here tonight so far. Oh, snap in the leg. She's targeting every arsenal of a limb. If it's a limb, you know, it's gonna be broken. And look at this, just targets away at the back here. I'll just stretch it away at the back now. Wait a minute, ATS. Elbow, oh my god. Oh my god, a shot block to the knee. You can see a little bit of uh, damage to the knee of Casey. Oh, knee right to the face there. And a drop kick right to that damn knee. My god. Oh my god, went for the knees there. Got out of the way. And a half and half suplex. Somehow got it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Frog splash into the cover. Is this going to do it here? And it's not even a two. It stomps on the arm. The arm she's been targeting a little bit in this matchup here. Elbow. But for another half and half. Got countered there. ATS now. Lifts her up. Brain buster. What a brain buster, and ATS is feeling herself here. As she waits here for Casey to get up, sends her over the top here. Wait a minute, punch there, and she gets sent down. And ATS here. Oh no! Oh, look out! Oh no! And she overshot it! She overshot it! Casey's able to use that to her advantage a little bit. Wait a minute. Look out! Roll through! Slingshot neck breaker. And Casey, what's she doing? Oh my god! Look out, guys! Bite the bullet! Connecting the bite the bullet! One, two, Casey wins her debut here tonight. Congratulations to Casey on the victory here tonight. Take a look at this action here. That beautiful top rope frog splash. It all, and look at this, the bite the bullet connecting, breaking the neck of ATS. And it was a one, a two, and a glorious three. And Casey celebrating, wait a minute. ATS is back up and showing respect to a wrestling veteran here in LWE. A great matchup indeed. Look at this, even ATS has to acknowledge it. Respect shown. Wait, what the? What the hell? What are you doing, Casey? Oh my God! 
and slams ATS down onto the mat. Wait, what's she doing? What the hell does she have? What the hell's in her hand? Um. What the hell? What the? Oh my god! Oh my god! She's got a razor! What the hell is she doing? What the hell? No! Oh my god! Oh my god! What the hell was that for? No, that was uncalled for, damn it! Why'd you have to do that? Why'd you have to do that? What was the necessary reason for doing that, Casey? Making a name for yourself? You damn well sure just did! But there was no reason to cut off ATS's hair like that! Just shaved it right off! Oh my god! Statement well made! If that was your goal, we have to get ready for our next matchup here tonight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, <laughs> it's time to rewind it back. Here oh, he comes. Oh, one fall. Making his way down to the ring. Accompanied to the ring by your new LWE Women's Champion, Christina Jacob. From Miami, Florida. He is the GOAT. Set. Yeah. The man who created the iconic club connection. Cedric Young. Here tonight. Walking out with Christina Jacobs. As far as we're concerned, ladies and gentlemen, this is simply business. Strictly business. In fact, he was so kind enough, Cedric Yoga so kind enough to give Daddy O. Jones and Joe Garcia a fine trip to his own private nightclub in Miami. They're not here tonight. Cedric Young says, I've got this man one-on-one. -on -one. I'm gonna knock him out. Cedric Young plans to take out Crossbones, who ain't even 100% still. Accordingly so, he's had a little bit of a concussion. It... Hold on. I'm getting, I'm getting word, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, apparently, um, by the end of the night tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to find out who Mike Mercer is going to face at the LWE award show, apparently. He's going to defend his title at the award show since Damon has to. It's apparently only right, according to Tiger. And I, I believe that's fair, but uh, who? I, I just got informed of this. Maybe it's Cedric Young. That's why he just told me now to say it. Oh, imagine if it's Cedric Young or if it's this one right here. Get your ones in the chat. One, 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 one. Here he comes. His first singles match back. It's time for the emo psychopath. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Crossbones. Crossbones coming down to the ring here tonight. Not 100%. Well, you see a happy and smiley Crossbones under that jacket. He's got a little bit of taped up. He's still got a concussion, mind you, by the way. Uh, from Timothy Smith, he came back a little early on the concussion. I don't know if that's smart of Crossbones. I'm not going to lie to you. Especially considering he is now in the LWE Walls of War matchup coming to you at the LWE Awards show. I mean, Crossbones wants to redeem himself a little bit better here. So if he wins that LWE Walls of War matchup, then, you know, he can go after the World Massacre title he never lost. Or he could go after the World Heavyweight. Wait, what the? Oh my God, it's Cedric Young! 
Cedric Young, oh, would love nothing more than to take that momentum away from Crossbones. Going into the LWE award show, sends him into the corner here. Wait a minute, throws him over, tries to get rid of him. Elbow right to the head. And remember, the damn concussion off there. Look out. Oh my God, that's not going to do well. Oh my Lord, and now just stomps on the chest. Wait a minute, Crossbones is it done? Has the arm drag here, maybe Crossbones. Oh, oh, blocked it there. Wait a minute. Oh, on the knee, off the ropes, kicks him right in the head, hits him with a beauty shot. And look at Cedric Young, standing tall already. And look at this. There's the taped up body I was talking about. Oh my God, right to the head. And look at this diving elbow. And it wasn't just the head, it was the shoulder. Apparently so, he's got a little bit of a, oh my God, Cedric to the chest there. And Crossbones, I don't know if Crossbones can get out of this one here. Kenny, wait a minute, he's starting to pull himself up here. In the elbows to the gut. Kick to the gut, kick to the gut here. Punches up right under the ropes here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, Christina, get out of the way! Oh. Christina could have gotten hit there. I'll tell you who will. Crossbones going for a dive. Ow! Cedric moved. And now looking right at Christina, laughing about it. Oh, right of the barricade. No, no, look out. Oh, my God. Just sends him right into the barricade with no care in the world. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Now, snake eyes against the steps there. And look at Cedric. Enter it back in. Christina helping Cedric a little bit. I think that's a little bit uh, cheating there. Just helping Crossbones up, you know. Wait a minute. Oh, right to the back. And look at this. Cedric Young just refreshing the memory of Crossbones. Try to remind Crossbones who the hell Cedric Young is. Cedric Young, cross body to crossbones. Is that gonna do it? One, two, no, wait a minute. Cedric's not done with him anyways. And look at this, looking right at the referee, telling him to get ready. Get ready for what? Just been nothing but dominance throughout this match. Oh my God. Back suplex there. German suplex there. And look out, twists him around, goes for a vertical, and he hits the vertical suplex. Look at this, right to the head. And Crossroads can't really fight back because, like I said, he's hurt. I don't know why he agreed to this. Uh, I mean, he signed his death wish to come back early. He's got to deal with it. Wait a minute, takes advantage here. Shot there. Now send Cedric out to the opposite side. Went for a drop kick. Nobody home off the drop kick. Kick right to the gut. Look out. Cross-legged Michinoku driver. Right into the cover here. Referee one, two. Oh. Almost had him. Still to come here is our main event as well. Tiger has called out Kota Imura. For some reason, look at this. Cedric, though. Cedric, though. Already going to finish off Crossbones. It's done. It's over with. Count it. Go. Go count it. Just, it's over. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Crossbones. Crossbones. Fighting out of it there. And Crossbones. Kick to the gut. Look out. Sunset flip power bomb. One. Two. Oh my God, had it. He had the match won. Oh, wait a minute, Crossbones starting to fire up. Here comes Crossbones, Crossbones, keeping the same energy, oh my God. And Crossbones 
Hype it up the fans! Getting ready, here we go! Oh! Lifts him in an electric chair! Look out! The dead end drive! Dead end drive connecting! And look at this! Goes for the cover! Christina's distracting the damn referee! Damn it! And look at Crossbones. Wait a minute. Christina now distracted Crossbones here. And, and Cedric! Cedric with a schoolboy! Schoolboy! One! Two! Oh my god! And he barely got it up. He barely got the shoulder up. Off the ropes here. Wait a minute. Oh, a knee right to the gut. Oh, could be thinking about Nightmare Fuel. No Nightmare Fuel incoming. Oh my god. Now sends him into the corner again. Cedric with easy pickings. Oh, right to the arm. And even more so, upper towards the shoulder. Oh my god. And look at this. Off the quarter here. Drop kick. Now off here. Look out. Wait a minute. Missed completely there. Crossbones. Oh, knee bar. The knee bar's in. The knee bar's in. Ref's asking, do you submit? Do you want to submit? Can you continue? Oh my god. Cedric. Cedric. Trying to get out of the knee bar here. Crossbones ripping away at the knee. Is this going to do it? Do you want to quit, damn it? Oh, right to the head. Wait a minute. Christina distracted the referee a little bit for some reason. Oh, what a right hook. Look out. Oh, my God. Back body drop there. Now picks him up. Look out. Tooth job. That's it. And Cedric's done. Cedric's calling for the end. The Miami knee is incoming. Wait, wait a minute. What the? Oh my god! Christy running! Christy's distracted Cedric! Payback's a bitch! Wait a minute! No Nightmare Fuel! No Nightmare Fuel! Crossbow! One! Two! Crossbow's got the win! The unofficial member of the Bayes Friends gets his victory here tonight! Christina's trying to do something! Christy just threatened her! Oh my god! It's a high speed chase! Crossbones gets the victory! Thanks to Christy! Getting her revenge! Payback's a bitch, ain't it, Cedric? Payback's a fucking bitch! Crossbones gets the win. We got to move on here, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to Crossbones on his first match back from injury. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the LWE Award Show is coming to you live Thursday, December 30th. Very soon. We gotta get ready for our next bout here tonight. But it's not actually a bout. We're gonna be hearing from Tiger Gaming. He's got something to say for Kota Imura. And here we go. No time wasted from that statement I can see. Here comes the owner of LWE. Everyone's favorite. The Hip Hop Tiger. Tiger Gaming. It's trying to fit in with the generation here. Fit in with the LWE universe. All right, let's stop talking about it entire. Let's get on to some serious business. Tiger believes there's some corruption going on with Kota Amara. He believes Kota Amara did, in fact, have some very suspicious behavior at LWE Immortalized. And he's going to confess it here tonight. Hell, I bet ZK is watching this one very closely. In fact, ZK should be, like, happy a little bit here because it looks as though, you know, Tiger's kind of leaning more towards ZK's side of things. 
Uh, we're going to hear from Tiger right now. He's getting a mic. <laughs> so, here we go. Hello, LWE Universe. Welcome to Riot. My name is Tiger Gaming, and I am the official owner of LWE. And it is with great pleasure that I am here tonight to host this inaugural debate of one title. A title that has helped build a generation for the better. Unfortunately, I for one believe that at Immortalized, it was disrespectful. First things first, I'd like to address that Koda Imura is a violent man. No, 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 that's not wrong. I'm right. Because Koda Imura intentionally knocked himself into the ref, who proceeded to hit me off the apron. People could say that, oh, ZK did it. ZK should be punished. But the thing is, under what reasoning does ZK have to knock the ref down when he has the match one after and has Koda's shoulders pinned for the three count? ZK technically defeated Koda Imura, but even more so, Koda got himself intentionally disqualified, not only assaulting your ref, but assaulting me. I am the owner of this establishment, and I try to keep my bias out of it. Ladies and gentlemen, but that... That was an act of disrespect that I cannot accept. But even more so, finally, Koda decided to pull a bit of an Eddie Guerrero. He had the ref believe that ZK hit Koda with the chair. And you had everything in the palm of your hand with it because it's the only reason you won the match. I wouldn't have complained if you let ZK hit you with the chair. Hell, I would have given you a rematch or any of that. But no, you disrespected and disregarded the value of that championship. I can't stand it. The glitches, the cheating, the assault. Koda Amara, you're lucky I wouldn't have you sent to jail. And I understand the LWE universe, trust me. I think Koda Amara is an A-plus wrestler. But I cannot accept the performance he's been putting on. Therefore, I hereby am stripping of the LWE Light Heavyweight Championship. And I am giving it back to ZK at this instant. Um... Whoa, 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 whoa. He just tried to strip Kota Amara of the title and give it back to ZK, effective immediately. But it looks like our new light heavyweight champion has a problem with that. Coming down to the ring, wearing his new gold. Kept the strap pink too. Like I said he would. But Kota Imara definitely has some ongoing business to handle with Tiger. And he just doesn't look like he's in a good mood at the moment after hearing what Tiger said. He's still trying to hype up the fans though. Respect to that. Let's see what Kota Imara has to say about all this. Probably very important. I knew it. I bloody knew it. I knew something was up when you infiltrated my match back at Immortalize. I knew it! I knew it! I freaking knew it! And after what I just heard about how I supposedly assaulted you with such violent intent and how I should be stripped from my title and sent all the way to prison for my alleged actions without an invitation to say my piece or whatever, I just needed to come out here and ask you face to face. What is your damage? Man! I mean, I get it. You've been calling me a cheater ever since I stepped foot in your brand, but do you really think I can help that, Tiger? I mean, look at me. I am the glitch, damn it! And I signed to LWE for three particular reasons. One, I'm quite the lunatic according to everyone who's known me over the years. Two, I can step into a ring and wrestle. And three, Oh, what is number three? Oh yeah, I have the ability to entertain. And that's what the fans want, right? Entertainment, the sensation of experiencing enjoyment and simply just having, you know, fun? That's what I represent when I step foot into any arena in the LWE universe. They love it. So much that it just makes you want to slap your mom. And if I had the power to I would glitch all over this arena and give each and every single one of these people a Mountain Dew Frostbite. But instead of letting people enjoy what they want to enjoy, however, you just 
You just can't help but feel the need to turn whatever ignorance that you hold within yourself and turn it into a fashion statement at the cost of the creativity that I express to these fans specifically. And I, I just gotta ask, man, like, what? What did I ever do to deserve any of this from you, Tiger? I, I genuinely don't really understand it. It's not what you did to me, but what you did to my brothers. You take them with a grain of salt. You got involved at Grand Palace 3 and screwed someone up the booth. You got involved at Legendary when I suspended you from being there. You relied on that glitch for your matches when I said they were unfair. Do you think it's fair that your opponent is at a lesser because you want to play teleport? Tiger, uh, you're completely missing the point here, big dog. Listen, I'm just a 21-year-old professional idiot who happens to unapologetically be nobody else besides myself. But you, you just don't like me because I don't follow your sacred rule book because I prefer to do things my way. And it really grinds your gears so you simply just don't want me to succeed. But you look at yourself as this righteous man of the people, right? If you weren't really a righteous man of the people, you would not even think about taking this title off of me. You just do what you do to anybody else. I mean, what? Did Jimmy Darrow get this treatment after his violent tirades? How about Drake Hendrickson when he's just about killed a man? Or Damon Starr assaulting Cerberus' sister over a rubble elimination? Ryan Hunter beating up a bunch of security guards and getting chased, out, chased off by the police about over a year ago? Oh wait! I know! What about James Hudson who nearly damn well destroyed your company? Did you give him the same treatment? No! No you did not! So if you really want to see ZK as a champion again, instead of me, go ahead. Give him a rematch for this title. He can earn it. I mean, in your eyes, it's just going to be another title match. But for me, this is personal. I mean, I am so sick and tired of authority sharks like you who look at guys like ZK as a higher up over pipsqueaks like myself. You don't even know half of what I've had to go through in my life just to prove that I belong here. And ZK just gets what he wants because people like him well enough. And because of that, he's done nothing but overshadow me ever since his ZK20 campaign. So, you really want a fair rematch? Fine, fine. I'll, I'll keep it straight. Me, ZK, one more time. No glitch effect, no BS, any of that. I mean, if you really are a righteous man of the people, if you aren't corrupt, like they say you are, then you will make it happen. All you gotta do though, is listen. Listen to the people, man. At the LWE award show, Kota Hamura will defend the LWE Light Heavyweight Championship against ZK. No glitch, no false finishes, any of that. But to make it a guarantee this time, we need a decisive one, two, three. So even if the ref goes down, someone's there to keep it in control. If there's dirty work behind the ref's back, that person will notify me. I want this match to be cleaned down the middle. So I am officially the special enforcer for that match. And if you put your hands on me, or have anyone intentionally hit me again, I will call for the belt and award ZK the title. Do I make myself clear? All right, well... You got it, boss. But one more thing. If I do manage to prove you wrong and retain this title at the award show, you will walk into Wrestle Kingdom 2 and give each and every single member of the crowd a Mountain Dew Frostbite, free of charge. Good luck, Imbara. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Do I get a Mountain Dew Frostbite too? I want a Mountain Dew Frostbite! Either or, it's official! Wait, what the- Oh my god! It's ZK! And Kota saw it coming this time! Kota Amara sent ZK out of the ring! These two go at it one more time! Tiger the Special Enforcer at the award show! It's time for our main event! Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our main event. 
Oh, and here they come! The chapel has risen again! Not much luck at Immortalize, but this is a six-man tag team match for your main event here tonight. Introducing first, coming down to the ring, it is the team of Shiku Yakoga, Mandy Kirigaya, and the savior of LWE DTS. They are the Chapel. Oh, here comes the Chapel, ladies and gentlemen, down to the ring. You have been saved, ladies and gentlemen. It's main event time. And say what you will about DTS, but damn, he's good at his job. Because I'm going to tell you one thing right here. He has single-handedly taken Vandy Kirigaya and Jinku Gekoga to their first LWE main event here tonight. Their first LWE main event ever in, like ever competed in. Well, I, I figured Vandy at least would have uh, main event in a riot during the Rising Star Tournament. No, apparently not. So this is this is pretty special of DTS, given his uh, his crew, you know, a reward. But it looks as though they've also got to fight some pretty big challenges. Here comes uh, one of those challenges who got beaten up at the start of the show by the chapel. Clearly, in the mind of D'Angelo, it's about revenge right now for the anti-social face of... Ah! Son of a bitch! I'm right here! And their opponent's first coming down to the ring. He is from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. The anti-social face of art. And the LWE Immortalized Rumble winner, D'Angelo. I swear to God, I'm going to fight his pyro one day. Challenging it to a match, but damn. Here comes D'Angelo. Down to the ring. Ready for the six-man tag team match. It's going to be him, Xavier Grace. And what well, we don't know who their partner is. Who the hell's it gonna be? Could be anyone in that back locker room who wants an opportunity. They apparently didn't make the choice. And uh, I, I don't know if Tiger signed off on it. But an LWE authority did. So, regardless, it has to be. Wait a minute. Here comes his partner. Ladies and gentlemen, the peaceful anarchist is here. The man who was final two. And his tag team partner from Columbus, Ohio. He is the peaceful anarchist. Xavier Grace. And I'm pretty sure Xavier Grace would love nothing more than to win the walls of war that he's participating in. I should have mentioned that, by the way. DTS and Xavier Grace both are in the LWE Walls of War matchup. This would be DTS's second ever LWE Walls of War, as well as Grace's. That's pretty interesting fact. And they would love nothing more than to take an opportunity to main event well, not main event. Challenge for a world title at Wrestle Kingdom 2. Who are their partner? What? What? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. What? What? No. No freaking way. No freaking way. Oh my god, and speak of the walls of war, here comes another man in that match, the world leader, James Hudson. Well, I did say an LWA authority figure signed off on and this. Acting partner from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, he is known as the world leader, James Hudson. 
I mean, I know, I know Hudson doesn't have any control like he said. I mean, unless he told a fib, he could have lied. Either or, I guess that LWE executive signed off on this. So, James Hudson is the official partner of Xavier Grace and D'Angelo. We will also be competing in the LWE Walls of War at the LWE Awards Show on December 30th with a chance to challenge for a world title opportunity. Well, here we go. Let's get right to the matchup. And it looks as though Jinku Gekoga is going to start things off with D'Angelo. And the bell has rung. Here we go. The main event has begun. And a lock up here. Waist lock by D'Angelo. Slams down Jinku. Now has the headlock in here. Wait a minute. Ooh, locks the hammer around the legs here. Wait a minute. Roll through it. Got the headlock in. Punch right to the face. Right to the fucking face. Rolls through. Got him back into another headlock. Elbow to the back of the head there. It just strangles at the head here. Look at this. Jinku keeping control. Wait a minute. Off the rope. Roll. Pop up knee strike to Jinku. And D'Angelo swinging neck breaker. And a splash right into the cover. Is that going to do it already? One. And it's only a one count there. And look at this. Rolls onto the apron. And look at D'Angelo. Taking in the LWE audience here. Jinku's back up here. And Jinku with a strike. And now goes to the top rope. And D'Angelo strikes him there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Power slam time. Oh, caught him with a stunner. Caught him out of nowhere with a stunner there. And Jinku sent into the corner. Makes the tag. Knee into the corner. And Vandy joins. Oh no! Oh! A double team suplex! And Vandy drops the knee over D'Angelo! And they got the cover here! Is this gonna do it? No! Only a one count! And Vandy now off the ropes! Oh my god! Was that necessary? And look at this! Stomps down! Going face first, D'Angelo there, as DTS now being tagged in by Vandy. Oh, wait a minute, D'Angelo ain't taking any of this. But DTS is making them. Oh, oh, a roundhouse right to the head. And not letting D'Angelo go make a tag. Sends him into the corner. Oh, shoulder tackle. Tag made here. To Jinku, look out! Knee to the gut! And a knee over the skull of the immortalized Rumble winner! Well, the eventful hopeful here. Boom! Boom! Punches right to the gut by D'Angelo. And D'Angelo now sends Jinku into the corner here. Makes a tag to Xavier Crease. Wait a minute. Uh oh. Oh. And a Shawn Michael sell. Oh my God. Menace. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. Stomps his head into the mat. And now picks him up off the batting here. Hip toss. Knee to the head. Look at this. Wait a minute. Jinku with the counter. And Jinku makes the tag to DTS. DTS. Oh, he saw Kreis get up. And he tagged in Vandy, who oh, hits a Superman punch. My God. Look out. Jawbreaker there by Xavier Kreis. And Kreis now going ham on Vandy here. Knocks them into the corner. Oh, wait a minute. Rolling Thunder Frogs West. No, they get the knees up. The knees going up. Oh, another Superman punch. Got the cover here, one. Only a one count. And a headbutt. 
from Vandy to Xavier Grace. And look at this. DTS and Jinku just watching Vandy on. Take it a little bit here. I guess uh, DTS is evaluating the members of the chapel here tonight. Wisely. Sends Kreisa to the corner. Off the corner post. Oh my god. And Vandy now. Just wait a minute. Oh no. Right to the knee. And look at this. Tags in Hudson. There was a little bit of hesitation there from Kreisa. But Hudson's in, and Hudson watching Vandy go for the tag here. Wait a minute. Oh, no. The most dangerous submission hold in all of professional wrestling, the Indian Deathlock. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Tear it away at the knee there. What? No. What? What? Lifting Vandy with it. Looking right at DTS! Whoa! Oh, 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 oh my god! Hudson hasn't lost a damn step! And look at this! Look at this! He's given the chapel an option for Vandy to tag out! And they tag in Jinku! Went for the drop kick to the knee. Hudson said, no, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. And look at this. Look at this. Hudson has a little bit of support from the fans. Tags it, D'Angelo. What's this? An electric chair. Bulldog. To Jinku, the cover, the one, the two, nah, not enough, and look at this, D'Angelo now, going at the face of Jinku here, tags in, Xavier Grace, hey, I wonder what that was, but anyways, wait a minute, oh, a knee right to the head, and Jinku with the cover off of that. <laughs> nah, it was only a one. Thought that was enough. Wait a minute. And a headlock driver. And Jinku now taking it to the peaceful anarchist. The former world champion. Has control over that situation. Off the ropes. Rolling elbow to Grace. And look at this. Now, locks a knee bar in. A knee bar has been applied to Xavier Grace. Is Grace going to be able to get out of it, though? Wait a minute. Grace definitely got out of it there. And Xavier Grace now goes big, hits an arm drag. What an arm drag. Jinku gets back up. Oh, my God. Broke his spine. Oh, no. No, he's going to break his spine more. Well, that's for the power bomb earlier tonight by the chapel at triple power bomb. Look at this, goes to the top, and Vandy! Vandy shoves Grace off. And Jinku now needs to find a way to recover, retaliate on the situation at hand. There is an opportunity for you. And look at this, Grace getting back up, and Grace. Not too happy. Oh, tried to punch Vandy there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Vandy. Ah! Sunset flip power bomb on the floor. Now gets on the apron. Jinku. Jinku grabbed him. Just in the nick of time. Oh, brain buster back into the ring there. And look at this. Lifts him up slowly here. Oh, right into the cover. One, two, and there's the breakup by D'Angelo. D'Angelo now getting on the apron. Oh, Jinku. Whoa! Oh, drops Grace. Is this it? One, two, and Grace kicked out. 
Crease got the shoulder up just in the nick of time. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, oh my God! On the neck. And now, look at the finish things. Sends him into the corner. Oh, come on, Vandy! Oh my God! At DTS. Taking a minute to breathe here. Try to hype up the fans. Look at this. Look at this. Mocking the fact that Crace can't make the tag. Look at Jinku. Kick it away at the leg here. Makes the tag to DTS. Who's going to finish things off it looks like. DTS now. Oh, 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 won't let Grace breathe. No breathing room for you, Xavier. And look at DTS. He's saying it's over now. Oh, right into the corner. Elbows. Goes to the top. Moonsault, Chris move, and our Moonsault connects anyways, right into the cover. One, two, no. Got the shoulder up, and it looked like D'Angelo was gonna try and go for a dive. Didn't work out that way. Wait a minute, Xavier Chris, Xavier Chris, Crucifix, Crucifix, one. Oh, oh my God. Wait a minute, walks over. Tag made! Talk about father and son with Smith and Hudson. How about teacher and student between DTS and Hudson? This is interesting. Here, they're gonna go at it. What the? No, damn it! It was a setup! No! A damn setup! They won an advantage at Walls of War, it looks like. So they're going to try and take out D'Angelo. And Chris D'Angelo isn't even in the damn match. What the hell is this about? Now look at this. Saying get rid of him. And Vandy. Oh my god. I guess the match is. Wait a minute. It's Jimmy Kane. Jimmy Kane. What are the other guys in the Walls of War matchup. Beating on Chico in the corner now. Wait a minute. Oh my god, the world champion, Mike Mercer, ground zero, oh my god. Back into the ring, Vanny went for some big, and D'Angelo knocks them off. Wait a minute, ground zero by Mike. And it's all a setup here, huh? All a damn setup. And, oh. These guys want to make sure that Xavier Chris isn't 100% that D'Angelo isn't either, apparently. And Jimmy Kane got his nose stuck in business it shouldn't be in. Picks him up. Look at this. Trying to hype up the fans. Wait a minute. Chris is fighting back. Chris, fighting back indeed. Here comes DTS. DTS gets punched. Oh, but the axe handle down. And now, stomping him down. Come on now. What? What? What the? No. No, 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 wait a minute. No. Don't, don't tell me this is legit. Don't tell me this is legit. No way. I, no way. No. We haven't seen Evan Mercer since LWE Wrestle Kingdom when he fought crossbows for the Global Championship! Evan Mercer coming down to the ring! That's the father of Mike! Mike can't believe it! Mike's eyes are deceiving him! Is this the man that Tiger was talking about to challenge Mike? at the award show! Or is he here to help? Wait! Oh, showtime elbow! Sammy went for the dive! Look out! Showtime!
Look at this! Look at this! Evans in! Mike wants something to do with him! But Chris sends him into him! Mike's trapped! Mike's trapped! Mike's trapped! Look out! Showtime to the back of the head! Oh my god! Look at the lineup standing in the ring! What's gonna happen at the award show? Wait! It is confirmed, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get to the entire card in just a second. Stick around. Oh, my God. Evan Mercer is back. Ladies and gentlemen, the full LWE award show match card coming to you live right now with the LWE Walls of War. Six sides of steel, only one opportunity to go to Wrestle Kingdom 2. Hudson, Kane, Grace, Smith, Crossbones, DTS, who's gonna win? And just now confirmed, it's gonna be Rabbit versus Brad Epic at the award show. A rematch from the LWE Rising Star Tournament. As well, Christina Jacobs has her first title defense against a woman who didn't really get a fair shot at Immortal Eyes. Envy Price versus Christina Jacobs for the LWE Women's Championship. And it's also confirmed the title town titans are next in line for the big money Malik's ultimate opportunity as they take on the Charm City Kings. As well, it is a triple threat match. Christy Redding, Mora, and Andrea Mercer. The winner will go on to take on the winner of Envy versus Christina Jacob at Wrestle Kingdom. And it is also confirmed Mike Mercer will defend his LWE World Heavyweight Championship against his own father, Evan Mercer. As well, it is Kota Imura defending his title against ZK. Tiger will be present as the special Enforcer. How's that gonna play out? And in our main event, Damon Starr defends his championship against the Reaper, William Parker. I wanna thank Christy Redding, aka Nikki, for making these match card designs. Thank you, everyone. Make sure to lumbar check that follow button. Good night. And thank you for watching, Riot.